What's up everyone and welcome back to Top 5 Central. Today we're looking at the top 5 YouTubers who are in video games. Now for those of you who are new here, currently we have a $100 free Amazon gift card giveaway going on right now. All you have to do to enter is click the link in the description and do like 3 steps, so make sure you do that for a free chance to win stuff. Also, after researching this video, there are a ton of other YouTubers and video games, so if we can smash 5,000 likes on this video, I'll probably make a part 2 soon, so make sure to leave a like if you enjoy. With that said, let's get right into it. Number 5. Captain Sparkles Captain Sparkles made his name on YouTube by playing the game Minecraft. Since starting his channel in 2010, he's managed to get almost 10 million subscribers, so I guess it was only a matter of time before he got asked to be in a video game. When Telltale brought out their game Minecraft Story Mode, there were quite a few NPC characters, and one of them was the in-game avatar of none other than Captain Sparkles. His character showed up in Episode 6, and was trapped in a mysterious house alongside the main characters, and a bunch of other YouTube-based characters as well. He gets quite a lot of screen time, until eventually he's pushed down a hole and brutally murdered by the villain of the episode, the White Pumpkin. Wait a minute, I just realized I can talk about this now because it's been announced. I'm in a video game. This is really cool, like a major video game, a major video game called Minecraft Story Mode. So I'm going to be playing Minecraft Story Mode when it releases on Tuesday, I think, and I'm going to be in it. So you'll hear me in the game and I'm also going to be less clue. What? Really? Whoever killed Torque Dog, whoever invited us, they're after the enchanted flint and steel. <laughs> Oh, oh, no! No! I'm suffocating! Oh god! Oh god! Greetings, adventurers! I am I'm the suffocating. White Pumpkin! Number 4 Chaos Silencer Last year, the Call of Duty YouTubers Chaos Silencer and T. Martin were flown out by Infinity War to one of their studios. At the time, they didn't actually know why they were flying them out there, but when they arrived, they realized that it was because they were actually making them into a part of the game. That's right, you may not have known it, but Chaos and a few other YouTubers were actually going to be put into the campaign of Infinite Warfare. Now, they didn't play any major characters in the game, but just a few scientists on the bridge of your ship that work on making it go from place to place. Either way, it was pretty cool. Alright guys, so I am fully suited up, as you guys can see, with I think everything that I need. I even gassed up my M4A1, so yeah, maybe go down, show the whole thing. This is it. We're about to audition to see what role we play on the Retribution. Trevor's ready, you're fully suited up too. Alpha Bravo, Al Copy. Solid Copy, send traffic. All clear, we're heading your way. Copy. Yeah. yeah! Good! We're done guys, it was, there's a camera in my face. Number 3, The Syndicate Project Avengers Academy was a mobile game released by Marvel Entertainment in 2016. In it, the Avengers and a bunch of other Marvel characters were portrayed as teenagers going to a superhero school. What you might not have known is that a YouTuber known as The Syndicate Project was involved with the game, and he'd actually been cast to play one of the villains in the game. He was playing the Asgardian Loki, one of the first characters that a player is able to recruit in the game. Now at its heart, Avengers Academy is a recruitment and fighting game where you collect all of your characters and then make them battle against a bunch of evil characters. Surprisingly, the game isn't based off the Avengers Academy comics, it just basically stole their name. Either way, I thought it was super cool that Syndicate was actually in the game though. Pause real quick, you might be like, wait Tom, why the hell are you involved? And this is where this is just awesome. I am going to be voicing one of the Marvel superheroes or villains. Now that is just an amazing opportunity that I just could not miss. It's like, whenever can you say in your life that you voiced a character for a Marvel goddamn hero or villain? I am not telling you which one either it is. You've got to find out when you play the game. So you can get voting for my mascot, the Legends, as soon as you unlock Black Widow in the game. So if the Legends mascot wins with the most votes, then we get our own in-game banner, plus we get free characters called Superior Iron Man. So yeah, it's just an amazing opportunity to be able to be involved in this. And Number 2, Jacksepticeye. Some YouTubers like Jacksepticeye have fans that are so into their content that they've actually had video games for them by their fans. When Jack hit a million subscribers back in 2014, one of his fans created a game called Jacksepticeye's One Million Subscriber YouTube Party Massacre. And, uh, well, it was just as insane as the title sounds. In the game, Jack has arrived at his 1 million subscriber party, and all the biggest YouTubers from PewDiePie to Scene Anders to Markiplier are there. But as you can probably tell by the name of the game, things go downhill pretty quickly. 
When it reaches midnight, zombies invade the party and murder all the YouTubers, and Jack is the only one left. In the game, Jack then has to survive against the hordes of incoming zombies, with a special ability known as boss mode that deals extra damage. Now the game doesn't exactly look very pretty, but if you're a Jacksepticeye fan, then it's probably pretty awesome for you. Oh my god! It's Mag, Bob, and Wade! <laughs> Who are you guys? Is that PewDiePie? <laughs> These are the guys from Silent Hill 3. I don't know who that is though. Kinda of looks like sea nanners. A small bit. I don't know, I'm sorry. Congratulations, Sean! Mom Spaghetti! These weak arms are heavy! Okay, run away, I need help. You're in for it now, Billy Bitch! You're in for it now! Can I get this to hit him? For days! And everyone danced their butts off. The end! <laughs> oh yeah! Look at those fucking moves! Look at Wade! He's doing Gangnam style! Look at my moves! Yay! Yay! You did it! Number 1, PewDiePie. Now we couldn't exactly do a video on YouTubers and video games without covering one of the biggest mobile games of last year, Tuber Simulator. It took on the classic tycoon style of video game, brought it to mobile, and then coded it in a YouTube colored paint, and it was really cool. PewDiePie featured as the guy that's basically teaching you how to do YouTube because he's the biggest YouTuber in the world. The game was addictive and had a lot of people playing on it for quite a while. Unfortunately, a lot of people took the fact that you can make whatever you wanted in your room on the game a little bit too far and started to pollute it with Nazi symbols. And that's something that PewDiePie recently got attacked for in the media. Now despite that, it still managed to be a pretty good game, but it wasn't actually the first game that PewDiePie had made for smartphones. His first game was an action platformer named Legend of the Brofist, and it was also pretty successful as well. Now considering both of these successes, it's probably only a matter of time before we see another really cool PewDiePie video game come out. Too long. One man has sat at the top of the YouTube throne. But now, you. You have the chance to take him out and become number one in Tuber Sim. Build your space. Make videos. And get enough views to become the biggest YouTuber of all time. Hey, how's it going, bros? My name is PewDiePie. Welcome to PewDiePie's Tuber Simulator. And there's our video on the top five YouTubers who are in video games. If you enjoyed the video and you want to see a part two, please feel free to leave a like down below and subscribe so you see whenever we upload a video. Also, if you have your own top five or a top ten idea, feel free to use our extremely handy form in the description to submit it. With that said, thank you all for watching, hope you enjoyed, and I'll see you all in the next video.